Hey there everybody, this is Shelly Girl and uh, let's go to the Viridian Gym right now. I swapped my team around ever so slightly, he told me he's out front. Um, Gary isn't a ground type specialist like uh, Giovanni was in the first gen. Uh, he actually uses all kinds of types, it's kind of how he is in the uh, first gen. And we can't carry it, take our Pokemon around, so, uh, yeah. Also, these tiles, these tiles are annoying. Uh, basically, you go on them and you just go spinning right around like some sort of record. So, really, what you'll want to do is to try and find your way over to Gary. Battle the trainers if we want, but I don't really want to. I mean, do I really want to? You really come to a stop on those like funny looking uh, grey pads. So. Yeah, I like that one then. We're just. dickish enough to actually be in front of a trainer. I think the right way through this is to actually go through all the trainers, so. Yeah, that's pretty hard. This thing probably has Intimidate. Yep. Shouldn't really care for it. A stab to Frick Break should kill it in one hit. If not, I'll just kill it with Aerial Ice next turn. Oh, yeah, you're dead. And a Tauros. I'm probably going to have to close combat because, uh. Yeah. Minus two attack, I don't think Brit Break will kill it. Close combat may well kill it. If not, put it down to a slither its health. Which is probably even worse. Freaking intimidate, man. It's annoying. So yeah, your dad. Let's have a look. Well, I can't even go that way, so... Uh, let's try this way. No, that was the wrong one. See, this gym's a 9, cause, mainly because of this gimmick. It's one, of, it's one of those really annoying gimmicks. It's been, it was in uh, the first generation as well. Where the. Uh, in, mainly in the uh, Team Rocket base. So that will put me on there. I don't even think there's a safe way around here uh, without going back to the beginning. Let's see. Now, that's going to take me back to that. Uh, the goal on this up arrow here is going to take me back to the start. That's going to take me back to the start. That's going to. No, that won't. That's uh, my way is clear, I need to go this way. Right, let me have a look here, that's a down arrow, isn't it? Yes. So, left down. I need to go this way. And then upwards and... Ah, double battle. Hi, how are you doing? Kind of fast into it. Mm -hmm. Oh, Paragon 2, that's interesting. I had to really see those. Um, let's have a look. 
He told me we should easily kill the party on two. Uh, Rados. Uh, you slid by my Zamaro. I will worry about him next time, maybe. More often than not, he's probably gonna set up an aqua ring. Well, we'll see what he does on his time if he gets the time. He might not even get a turn. Oh, he's got poison, so that's great. Even if he does, uh, oh no, you've attracted the me. That's annoying. Right, I'm just gonna switch you out for. I'm just gonna switch that you out for Rascal and uh, Black Arachnid, why not? You finish it off with Shadow Snake. Make sure it doesn't even get a foot in, because it's probably gonna use the tracks on Black Arachnid as well. What's the annoying guess? A marrow. I recommend that you get rid of a trap for something far better, like Double Edge. Oh, uh, what's that other one? No, not self destruct. Oh, that reminds me, we have to go get that TM. I'm going to have to show you how you get that. Um. I think I may have made a huge mistake. We'll go back here, take this one here. That should take us right to where Gary is. Uh, do we need to heal? Hopefully not. Alright Gary. Uh, I beat you several times before in Generation 1 and now it's time to get beaten well again. Nah, they're not fast, it's best than you. Um, Gary has an interesting strategy. Um, his first Pokemon, I believe, is his Executor. Yeah, and the first move this Executor is guaranteed to do is Trick Room, which makes the slow Pokemon go fast each and every time. I don't want this. So I'm going to hope for a Mega Horn hit. Uh, Mega Horn will do quad damage to Executor because it's physical and stab and stuff. It's probably going to fall over in one hit. Alas, yeah, I'm going to get take the. Oh, you're going to not use Trick Room. That's okay with me. Uh, if you told me, will please hang on to dear life and uh, hit with the Mega Horn. That's pretty great. So Executor should die, please die. Again, part Psychic type, so uh, physical defense, not too great. And he told me Grill level, sweet. Uh, did you learn anything interesting? No you didn't. Uh, Pidgeot, I'll send in Pokey. And why not? I don't think anything else has treatment, I think it's just his executor. And his main strategy is to just um, get trip room going and then just uh, try and do cheap damage by making sure he goes fast. And again, I could be wrong and everything has trip room. Could have also spent a turn um, getting care up, but uh, yeah. Turn did a bit of damage. That's not good. If I put if I put hail in, I would uh, be in a bit of trouble. Uh, especially since his next Pokemon is probably gonna be Gyarados. And again, this is a Pokemon I don't really have a decent counter to. Oh, you're gonna send your Arcanine, are you? We had this problem last time. Uh. Then the last one uh, just said to use extremes but we can go for some cheap damage. I think the same strategy is probably going to apply here. Don't care about Intimidate because I'm just going to spam Sir. Oh, you're not going to go first this time. That's uh, pretty great. So, Arcanine should die. 
I'm really ten minutes into this video. I thought this would actually be a bit longer because of the gimmick of the jump, the uh, thing. I know I'm not far to everybody, so that's kind of bad. But uh, trying to figure out the way to get to all the trainers itself is going to be a pain in the ass. So uh, it's kind of the main reason why I'm not far. To Right on, why are you bringing why are you bringing something that's quad weak to water into a water type? That's just that really, really stupid and retarded blow, Gary. Uh, Gummy will just surf all day and be like, Yeah, I've got no problems with using surf. And Gummy grew another level. It's like two levels in like two videos. It's pretty great. And Machamp, Machamp probably got no guard, so uh Aulicious and hopefully it doesn't have Stone Edge. If not we can always go up to Arados. Oh black right me. Uh uh slash uh, stab damage. And fights fights are kind of like the opposite of psychics, they tend to be like high attack, high defense, but low spike. Those special defense and attack, respectively. Uh, hopefully, Existentia should kill it. Uh, deliver the Coup de Grace to this matchup before it decides to use Stone Edge on me. I need to cough again. I don't really want to because. Well, I don't want to. Ah, there's his Gyarados. Wondering where you would come on. Uh. You know what? Idea. <coughs> There's the cough. Ugh. Intimidate. Don't care because I'm primarily special attack. Probably try Earth Slash with a flinch. Oh, the other Dragon Knights in Gyarados aren't you? The one that's gonna like try and uh, do two, uh, two things for me and. Uh, Alright, like, base is attack and spin, it's gonna try and XP me use Ice Fang like a douche nozzle. So I can get a stasis, I can get sleep on it and I can get a free switch. But I don't think that's gonna happen. Because now he's gonna like spin. Really should have uh, predicted that, but nah. Who's getting the hypnosis? Good. I really need an electric gem to teach to somebody. Probably have one and didn't bother using it. So I pretty much got the free switch here, so uh you tell me get out here I'm going to uh do something. Actually no I can't because that's why I'm to I'm an idiot. I will see how much uh close combat does. I'd probably not kill it in one. No. You're probably gonna fall with stall this time as well, aren't you? So the idea here is to It might not thunder thing actually, but oh well. Go me get out here, we're gonna have to beat this thing up the uh normal way. Yep, fast match. I'm just going to have to use uh, raw power here. By raw power, I mean Dragon Claw. <laughs> Another Dragon Nuts. You're probably just going to wait to speed dead gummy now, aren't you? Yeah, I'm going to wait to speed Oh, so you don't really have the fun thing? Is that all you really got? Yeah, that kind of hurts. However, my Dragon Claw hurts you a lot. And really, another full restore Gary, you're just a douche nozzle, aren't you? Hopefully, that's your other full. That's the only other full restore. Uh, let's, let's just keep using Dragon Claw. Oh, you're just gonna keep buffing your attack. Really, that's the plan now. I will just happily Dragon Claw you all day until I die and then 
maybe I'll start to panic. Three full restores, three full... Ugh. Gary, I hate you and your Gyarados too. Now just once I would like a critical hut. No, not you going first, I did not ask for your opinions Gyarados. A critical hit here would make me so happy I would do a thank. Um, you want to play the healing game? I can play the healing game too. Where is my hyper potion? Uh, do I really want to? Uh, I'll use hyper potion. Sure, why not? I can play this healing game too all day. At least until I run out of hyper potions anyway. Four freaking full restores. Ugh. Please don't tell me you're kind of like bought 99 of them because that's going to be annoying. And I can't even get rid of this thing uh, to get rid of these dragon dance. I uh, don't have haste to negate it. I don't have anything else that can probably do something, but actually an idea crunch. Hope for defense time. Ow, that hurt. Alright, Gummy, you're gonna have to actually take one for the team. Uh, providing that is, uh, this thing decides it's not gonna attack me. Okay, new plan. Um, panic, panic, panic. Only we're not gonna panic. Black Arachnia, Terrorize, Shadow Sneak. Oh, please don't die, Black Arachnia. I know your defenses aren't that great. Black Arachnia, you are the worst. Like, seriously. Alright, Rascal, you're gonna have to tank her. I think because he attacked me, he's not got any more four stars. So, uh. Yeah, that's just that boss. And hopefully, my tank will take a waterfall hit from my. Is it plus four dragon net? Plus four attack now? Yes, you can take that. Rascal, you are a boss at defense. And fuck you, Gyarados. Fuck you and your. That's a trainer. Kinda surprised he didn't touch the use trick room. But yeah, thanks to Rascal having no he doesn't have the uh I was thinking he did, but no. Uh, that's Alicious who has that now. Alicious had my amulet coin, uh yes, uh best of my leftovers. But yeah, you did lose to me now. Give me the earth badge, you retard. So with this, uh, we can actually have a special ability, we can actually use the HM Rock Climb, which we don't actually have. And we get the TM for Trick Room as well. Which might be good, might not be good, but that kind of depends on... Uh, you might want to build a team based around Trick Room like Gary's tried to do and failed miserably. Uh, but the effect, the effect only if it lasts uh, 5 turns. I believe it only has like 5 PP as well. But anyway, now that we have all 16 Johto badges and uh, Kanto badges put together, uh, Press Rock is actually going to call us on the Poke Gear. He's going to say some things like, Oh, I know that you've got uh, all the stuff now. So, um, come to Pallet Dad and pick it up. I mean, yes, we can go down the route, but I'm lazy and I'm going to um, get Avalicious. My 3 HP Avalicious again at 3 HP from uh, getting into a tough battle. Glad I'm not doing another that run because, uh, yeah, that would be terrible. But yeah, there's actually no healing in Pallet Town, so you have to go to the Pokemon Center nearby. When well, we talk to Professor Rock now, the present he's going to give us is actually the HM for Rock Climb. 
Which is good because we can use it now. And we are actually going to need it for the absolute final dungeon of the game. And uh, well, well, we've already seen the funny looking rock, so we can use rock climb on. Uh, most of the ones in Johto you can climb up to and you can get uh, Pokemon from the newer generations of that, using Headbutt. But, uh, yeah. Either way, you do have to actually go talk to Professor Oak once you got all the uh, Kanto badges. So you can get to Mount Silver. Which, it, like I said, is the final place in the game. Uh, you can get there now by going left to, to, from uh, Victory Road to Route 28. And then on to Mount Silver. But now that we have all the Kanto badges, I don't really want to go on with the storyline for that much longer. Instead, I, since they're all. Since we've got them all. I'm going to show off a couple of uh, events and some other stuff in the next couple of videos. Uh, mainly, mainly legendary Pokemon catches actually. So uh, yeah, that's kind of it for the next few videos. So until then guys, I'll see you later. Ciao!